What? Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful autumnal day here in Taichung City. The weather is nice and cool, not too hot, perfect for making videos. So I've come down to the local park where as you may be able to see, the locals are just wrapping up their daily morning Tai Chi session. A great feeling of community here, absolutely lovely. But anyway, for anybody new that's watching the channel, you have found me just in time. You can now get on board, join the rest of the team VVVIP that are enjoying watching me share my life here in Taiwan. And if you want to be a part of it, hit like, hit subscribe, join us on the charge to 100,000 subscribers. Yes, we are going for an absolutely huge number. It will be great if you could get involved. And like I said, this channel is all about me sharing my life here in Taiwan, living and working as a foreigner. Now, sometimes I will share my British or Western culture with Taiwan and my kind of different viewpoint of the world through the eyes of a foreigner. So today is definitely going to be more along the lines of the Western culture, my Western viewpoint, as today I'm taking you for what I think is the best American breakfast in Taichung. Let's go! Okay, yes, so as I mentioned in my previous traditional Taiwanese breakfast video, breakfast is a seriously important part of the day here in Taiwan. And while that video that you can see up here proved a massive hit with audiences all over the world watching me eat a beautiful, delicious Taiwanese breakfast, I thought it's only fair to show you the other side of the coin and show you the Western breakfasts that are available to us here in Taiwan. So after a few beers last night and a little bit of a fuzzy head this morning, I decided a Western breakfast is the way to go to soak up a little bit of that Taiwan beer that I consumed last night. Let's get inside, check it out. <music> Okay, yes, we have come to the Uptowner Thai Junk. And although there are several different options for a Western breakfast here in Taiwan's central city, this place is always my first choice. And I'll explain exactly why as soon as I've ordered my breakfast, because I am absolutely starving. <laughs> food ordered and I'm sure it will be here pretty promptly as I've come as the doors first opened so it's nice and quiet. If you plan to come here in the future of a weekend, probably best making a phone call, booking a table. This place gets pretty crowded on Saturday, Sunday mornings. Anyway, I'll take you through what I've ordered when it arrives. But first, let me tell you why I like this place so much. First of all, it's foreign owned. And the guys who run this place absolutely embody the Taiwanese working ethos of work hard and success will come. And they have certainly worked hard on building up this place, making it a success and providing authentic, amazing American cuisine and 
excellent high levels of customer service. The waiting staff are always incredibly friendly and welcoming, they speak a great level of English and they do a great job of providing a home away from home for foreigners looking for a little bit of Western comfort food. So yeah, the hard work of the owners and the management and the waiting staff in creating that relaxed yet very professional atmosphere every time you come here just adds to the experience as well as the pretty good food which I'm sure is just around the corner. <laughs> Yes, as I mentioned, the friendly atmosphere and prevalence of English here is certainly one of the reasons that I and many other foreigners like to come here for breakfast. But as I also said, the food is definitely a big attraction. As you can see, mine has just arrived. And you may be asking yourself, why as a Brit or a Pommy as we're also known, do I have such a strong opinion on an American breakfast? Well, other than Britannia, the British bar I took you to a few months ago for the bangers and mash, there isn't a high number of British pubs here in Taichung. Most of the Western restaurants here are based upon an American style menu. So over the past 10 years, I've definitely come to know the difference between a good American meal and a great American meal. And the food they serve here at the Uptowner is definitely the latter of the two. The menu here is absolutely fantastic if you are looking for traditional American breakfast foods. It isn't one of those huge menus with hundreds of pages, it just focuses on some key specialities. Their omelettes are absolutely to die for, their pancakes, french toast and waffles are also absolutely divine, but my favorite and pretty much what I order every single time I come here is right in front of me the Eggs Benedict and they have several different variations of it here and all of them come with this delicious freshly cut fruit and a traditional American style hash brown. Now hash browns you may be familiar with from McDonald's but that's not your typical traditional American hash brown. A traditional American hash brown should be prepared from a freshly grated potato fried on both sides until golden brown and providing some carbohydrate substance to that breakfast which will certainly help me soak up some of that Taiwan beer from last night. Anyway, enough talking about it, I'm gonna get stuck into my Eggs Benedict and Hash Brown. exactly what I needed after those few beers last night. And let me tell you, the sauce on these Eggs Benedict is a Creole Hollandaise sauce, and it has a flavor, a spice that I just cannot describe. The only way you can experience the amazing flavor of that Hollandaise Creole sauce would be to come and try it for yourself. It comes with my special approval. And those hash browns cooked absolutely perfectly. Not too oily, which can often be the case with hash browns, and not too dry. Just absolutely perfect. Cooked to a crisp on one side, chewy, yummy, hash brownie goodness. And this side order of fresh fruit just ends the meal perfectly. <laughs> Mm. 
lets me feel I'm eating something a little healthy, not just being a fat, greedy pig eating this delicious American breakfast. Anyway, that's my breakfast and that's the Uptown or Thai Junk, a genuine, authentic American breakfast, if that's what you're looking for. It definitely gets my life in Taiwan seal of approval. Before I go, let me say a big thanks for watching. Thank you to the team VVVIP for all of your continued amazing support. And as I said at the start of the video, if this is your first time here, then hit like, hit subscribe, and join the rest of the team on the journey to 100,000 subscribers. And when we get there, as I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be going up the tallest mountain in Taiwan, Jade Mountain. So let's get there as soon as we can. But anyway, from me here in the Uptowner, time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan.